G'day, this is Alistair Christie, and in this video we're going to create a custom variant so we can do some basic experiments with dynamic typing in Delphi. Now, Delphi is based on Pascal, which is a statically typed language, but by using variants we can cheat, uh, to which I'll now show you the basics. Let's start by creating a new unit, and we need to um, use variants because we're creating a custom variant type. Um, sysutils, because I want to use free and nil, and um, dialogues for share message. And we need to declare our custom variant type. Um, and call it t tvar share message and it's a class uh, inheriting from t invocable variant type um, we need a global variable var share message and it is surprisingly of type tvar share message and it can start out by being null. In the initialization section, we want to create our var share message and we want to free it as well. If I could spell finalization. There we go. Now, the uh, in this um, by creating our custom variant type, um, it will automatically register it as a custom variant. Um, our next step is to now write um, a whole bunch of overloaded methods. Uh, but first I'm going to save this and I'll call it um, uva the four um, methods we need to overwrite uh, clear Copy um, get property and set property. Now I'll just do the control shift C to create all those. Now uh, clear and copy are really easy. We just call uh, simplistic clear and simplistic copy. Now get property and set property have a bit more code associated with them. But the first thing I'm going to do is uh, share message get Destination, oh, I'll just assign 42 for now. For lack of anything else. And we need to be able to create one of these um, var share message um, variants. So um, Create uh, 
and it returns a variant. Okay, in here, um, oops, uh, we'll clear out the existing data, not that there'll be any, and just looking at my cheat sheet. Assigned var type, and this will get initialized in part of the constructor to be a unique um, uh, v type or variant type. And um, just looking over my cheat sheet, I think I've got everything. In here now, so um, we will want to test this. So I'll save that and go to Unit 10. And let's throw a button on here. Uh, and we create our Ah, um, it's helpful if we use the, the appropriate unit and create our var show message. Uh, v dot foo is assigned blah and um, And you'll notice that um, foo and bar don't actually exist at all. Um, but at runtime, when we click the button, we've got set foo, get bar, and then the re returning of 42. So when we call foo, our uh, get property um, Set property gets called, um, and we with the show message of the name foo, and likewise with the get, and we return 42. Notice that we're returning the integer 42, but it's showing the um, string 42, which is a nice thing about variants. Um, now, I'm, that's probably all the explanation you're going to get from me from now because we're running out of time, um, but this is. Um, basically dynamic typing in Delphi, which has traditionally been um, got very, very strong, strong typing. Um, anyway, that's all I want to show you. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was based on some stuff I was fooling around with at work today. Um, I intend to show you a real-world use for this shortly, so stay tuned.